Winning Trainers 2.0 Numbers Proof that Winning Trainers 2.0 works Introduction Welcome to the story of Winning Trainers 2.0 a new service based on tapping into and plundering trainers profitable habits These guys under their respective conditions already form part of my personal betting portfolio and for the first time I'm going to be sharing them with a few selected individuals let me tell you how this came about. A couple of years ago, I surveyed my readers over at ggs.co.uk and asked them, which of the following is the most important factor for you in a horse racing betting system? Right on 400 people took the time to respond and their answers didn't surprise me as I think it's what we all look for in a betting system for horse racing. 56% said the most important factor was long-term profits. 23% said they wanted a system with short losing runs and 11% said that low liabilities were most important. So that was fully 90% of all the people who responded who told me that they wanted a low liability system with short losing runs, these tend to go hand in hand, and they were interested most of all in long term profits. Recently I've been looking through my own portfolio as well as my betting systems incubator as I like to call it and have shortlisted my favourite trainer angles to include in this brand new service. In the following pages, I'm going to share with you some facts about the Winning Trainers 2.0 service. So sit back and absorb these numbers. You can see the full results at winningtrainers.co.uk forward slash results.htm. And if you have any questions, please do send me an email at support at summonbonham.co.uk. Let's start with annual results, profitability. As I mentioned in my introduction, the one thing that stands out about above all others in the minds of betting systems or service users is long-term profitability. So I made that the core focus of this collection of trainer research and I'm delighted to say that Winning Trainers 2.0 has a superb track record of success. The year-on-year -year profitability can be seen in the table below but this barely scratches the surface. All of these figures are to £10 stakes. In 2010, the profit was £1,412. In 2011, £2,409.50. Last year, it was £3,782.70. And to the end of April this year, it's £731.20. Those figures are quoted at industry starting price and could be significantly bettered using either best odds guaranteed bookmakers, especially when betting each way, or using Betfair SP. Indeed, here's the annual breakdown at Betfair SP with 5% commission factored in. 2010, £2,051.10. 2011, £3,168.50. 2012, £4,936.80 and to the end of April 2013, £1,076.80. The chart below shows the cumulative total since the beginning of 2010 to SP, that's the blue line, and Betfair SP, that's the red line, both of them at £10 stakes. And remember that the most recent part of the curve where profit seems to be flattening out is actually only a third of a year, January to April this year. If we were to extrapolate that out for the rest of the year, a dangerous game I admit, the annual figure for 2013 would be something like £2,193.60 at SP or £3,230.40 at Betfair SP. The really exciting thing from my perspective when looking at the annual figures is that they have actually improved year on year. This implies that the market has far from cottoned on to this point. Now, in the interest of disclosure, I should say that I do think a couple of our trainers are enjoying wider public recognition in recent times. The fact that they're still included is testament to the value I believe remains in the odds of their runners. And of course, I'll be keeping an eye on all the trainers in the portfolio to monitor their strike rates and returns on investment. If or when the levels become unacceptable, they'll be swapped out. This is the nature of trainer patterns and it is a transient game. But by firstly looking more deeply into their habits and secondly being clinical in removing underperforming elements, it is possible to stay ahead of the game. 
annual results, strike rates and losing runs. Let's start with losing runs. Huge headline profit figures are all very well, but it's equally important, perhaps more important, to understand the potential downside in an approach like this. All system or service sellers will trumpet big price winners and overall profit, figure, profit figures. But how many will tell you the losing runs, strike rates and so on? Well, I want you to be in possession of all the information possible in order to decide if, when the time comes, winning trainers 2.0 is for you. So, let's talk losers. The longest losing run encountered since the start of 2010 was 26 between the 2nd of November 2012 and the 17th of November 2012. During that period there were two 10 to 1 seconds and two 16 to 1 thirds. These would clearly have helped each way backers. Indeed, eight of the 26 horses in this losing spell finished second or third. More importantly, November 2012 actually recorded a profit at starting price of 11 points which, given the longest losing run in the research period, is testament to the overall profitability of the trainer set. So what about losing months? Well, February, March and April 2010 were all losers. Since then, there have only been two further losing months, including February this year, just minus £7.10 to £10 stakes, and even that showed a profit actually at Betfair SP of £31.10, which is about three points. Now let's talk about strike rates. The win strike rate from the start of 2010 to the end of April 2013 is 20.9% or slightly better than one winner in five. The average win odds of 5.34 to 1 mean that there's over a point of goodness in every runner if the strike rate continues to hold. The average bet fair odds of 6.23 to 1 offers even more con cushion against market correction. In a nutshell, average odds of 4 to 1 would be sufficient to break even with a strike rate of 20.9%. So average win odds of greater than 5 to 1 is very good indeed. If we look at each way betting, the 1 2 3 strike rate is 46.09% or almost one placed horse in two. The recommended approach is to bet each way when the odds available are 5 to 1 or greater. Most of our trainers are almost as profitable to back each way, with the added bonus that placed horses break up losing runs nicely and keep confidence going. Year on year strike rates and losing runs. Let's break the strike rates and losing runs down so we know exactly where we are with this. First, the losing runs. In 2010, the longest losing run was 23 between the 10th of February and 17th of March. While there were no winners in that 23 bet spell, six horses were placed, including at odds of 22 to 1, 16 to 1, 10 to 1 and 7 to 1. Betting each way as advised during that run would have resulted in a loss of just 14 and a half units. Not great, but certainly not a death knell in what was the worst run of the whole year. 2011's longest losing run was also 23, coincidentally, right at the end of the year, between 2nd and 21st of December. During that difficult period, there were placed horses at 12 to 1 and 20 to 1. And last year, there was a barren run of 26, the longest in the entire three years, four months of research. I've already written about this above, so I won't repeat myself here. I strongly advise a bank of 80 points to use winning trainers, and that ought to be enough to comfortably cope with even the longest of losing runs. Now, let's break down the strike rates. The win strike rate for 2010 was 15.45%, the lowest in the study period. That still equated to a profit at starting prices of £1,412 to £10 bets. In 2011, the strike rate improved dramatically to 22.08% and that was worth a profit of £2,409.50 to £10 bets at SP. 2012 saw the strike rate remain extremely consistent at 22.92% for a £10 level stakes profit of £3,782.70 and so far this year to the end of April the strike rate is, in, is again incredibly consistent 22.73% for a profit of £708.70 at SP 
so far. Staking plans. I always think staking plans are a bit of a contrivance. After all, if a system or service cannot make a profit at level stakes, then the best staking plan in the world won't make that system or service profitable. If a staking plan must be used, and I'd personally suggest that it isn't, then a small percentage of bank might be the answer. As I suggest an 80 point bank with winning trainers 2.0, that would equate to a bet of 1.25% on the first horse. 100% divided by 80 equals 1.25. So, just for fun, let's look at the effect of a 1.25% of bank per bet approach. Under such conditions, by the end of 2010, a 100 pound bank betting £1.25 on the first selection and one and a quarter percent of the revised bank thereafter would have finished at £391.71. At the end of year two, 2011, that bank would have risen to a monstrous £5,184.07. Year three's end, 2012, saw that bank grow to a scarcely believable £319,018.64. And if you're still with me, by the end of April 2013, your £100 seed pot would have been a, a skyscraping beanstalk worth £669,423.17. Now, it's time for a reality check. Of course, it's nice to tickle the belly of fantasy from time to time, but let's get real. Firstly, it should be expected that results will be slightly less impressive than the past two years, largely because the market will start to make allowance for these trainer specialisms. That means average winning odds might be half a point shorter than previously. As I've already shown, there's plenty of scope to accommodate such a correction, but the cumulative numbers illustrated above would look much more sensible in that context. Secondly, it probably goes without saying that most people are either a uncomfortable at trying to place bets of £7,000 plus on 10 to 1 shots or b don't know a bookmaker who will accommodate them in such endeavours. So yes, a staking plan may increase profits but it may also increase heart rate and potentially decrease your enjoyment as a cons consequence unless of course you are a die-hard adrenaline junkie. So to reiterate the recommended staking plan for Winning Trainers 2.0 is level stakes from an 80 point bank. Each way betting. Winning Trainers 2.0 is perfectly designed for each way punters. I strongly advise the use of best odds guaranteed bookmakers as that enables the double chance prospects of getting the better of either your early price or starting price. From the start of 2010 to the end of April 2013, there were 961 qualifying bets priced at 5 to 1 or more. They were worth an each way profit of 943.65 points, or in £10 stakes parlance, £9,436.50. Here's how our 10 trainers shaped up under their respective optimal conditions. Trainer 1, 99 bets for 74 points. Trainer 2, 35 bets for 74 points. Trainer 3, 62 bets for 83 points. Trainer 4, 156 bets for 73 points. Trainer 5, 50 bets for 65 points. Trainer 6, 225 bets for 301 points. Trainer 7, 14 bets for 10 points. Trainer 8, 91 bets for 48 points. Trainer 9, 81 bets for 80 points. And Trainer 10, 148 bets for 131 points. As you'll note from the number of qualifying bets, some trainers are newer on the scene than others, and some have more runners than others. That's the mix I'm keen to go to war with. Proven old hands and emerging talent with which the market is still not completely au fait. It's a potent combination and, as you've seen, it can be used either win only or each way. My personal preference is win only up to 9 to 2 and each way when 5 to 1 or bigger. Number of bets and timing of bet placement. A question I'm often asked about the systems or services promoted on my betting system review sites is how many bets are there? It's a perfectly good question, and the answer in Winning Trainer 2.0's case is that there have been 1,560 runners in three years and four months, which is 3.33 years. 
That equates to 468 bets on average per year, which in turn equates to roughly one and a quarter per day, or five qualifiers every four days, if that makes a bit more sense. However, all years are not made equal, or at least did not offer, offer the same amount of runners. The recent evidence is as follows. In 2012, there were 576 runners. That's 1.58 per day on average. This year, to the end of April, there'd been 220 runners, which is 1.8 per day on average. So, we're probably looking at just under two picks a day overall. Of course, some days there will be none, and occasionally on a busy Saturday, there might be six or seven. That's how it goes. But over time, there will be roughly two per day. Another question I'm frequently asked is when can I get my bets on? This is another great question as I know different people can only get their bets on at certain times. The thing with Winning Trainers 2.0 is that while we are interested in an odds cutoff with most of our trainers, which is generally 20 to 1 or shorter, you should feel free to use early prices if and when necessary. This does mean that sometimes we back a horse we shouldn't have, or we don't back a horse we should have but in my experience, gained over more than a decade of using such approaches, these things even themselves out almost to the penny over a meaningful period of time. So, you can expect one to two bets a day from the main service, and you can put your bets on whenever suits you. Summary. In this short report, I've shown you how Winning Trainers 2.0 works. I've also shown you various ways of using it, and I've highlighted my preferred approach. Winning Trainers 2.0 is not a miracle cure, nor is it a silver bullet, and it has its losing runs like everything else. I'm just a bit more upfront about them than most people. But Winning Trainers 2.0 is a great fun, low liability, profit making, flexible betting approach designed to be used by, well, anyone really. It is offered with 12 months of daily selections in a member's website area, so you'll always know what to back and I have a few more surprises in store just yet too. I hope you've enjoyed this short proof report, warts and all, and I'm sure you can now see the potential of this approach, which is the cornerstone of my personal betting. Stay tuned for full details of how you can join Winning Trainers 2.0 in a day or two from now. In the meantime, thanks a lot for watching or listening, and bye for now.